for joining me for this episode of Noxious Weed Training. I appreciate your continued efforts to familiarize yourself with the plants in these videos and for your efforts to eradicate them from the area that you have adopted. In this presentation, you'll learn about scotch thistle. Here you'll learn how to identify the plant, some interesting facts, and also how to remove it. Let's get started. The first thing that you'll want to know is how to identify the plant. For me, I like to think that the flowers of scotch thistle look like the trees from the Lorax, a story by Dr. Seuss. But let's not make fond comparisons just yet. Scotch thistle has thick, spiny leaves and mature plants will grow clusters of two to five purple flowers. Thistle can grow to be quite tall and if left unchecked long enough, can easily grow upwards of six feet. With that description, I'm no longer so fond of them. Scotch thistle is also commonly known as cotton thistle and woolly thistle because the leaves and upper stems are covered with thick cottony hairs. Scotch thistle is commonly found in disturbed areas such as construction sites and in agricultural fields. It'll grow just about anywhere, but our goal is to stop that from happening. In order to stop scotch thistle from growing, we have to follow a couple of steps. Scotch thistle is much easier to remove when it is young and before its purple rosettes start to flower because once they do, the seeds spread very easily. This is why the first step is to cut the flower stems off and carefully bag the stems to prevent seed spreading. If you start digging them immediately and the plant has already flowered, there's a greater chance that the digging motion will cause the flower to shake and spread seeds. Even in its young stage, a shovel is still needed to remove the plant. Sever the root below the surface to kill it and till over the area if you're able to do so. Cutting the ground with a shovel is also an option. We just want to make sure that those roots won't continue to grow once the plant above the surface has been removed. I hope that you found this training video helpful and that you're now able to properly identify this plant during your service. Be sure to reach out to your volunteer coordinator if you have any additional questions. Also, if you would benefit from additional tools or resources to make the removal of this plant easier, we are happy to assist you in any way that we can. Thank you for your help and be sure to watch the other training videos for noxious weeds in your area.